new curriculum, your 24 kicks. This particular version for the red and black belts is called the Ninja 24. Ninja 24, you'll, 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 you'll know why we call it the Ninja 24 in just a moment. All right, so for the Ninja 24, you're gonna do um, the basic 24, what the white belts are doing. You will also do the intermediate 24, what the yellow belts are doing, all right? And then you're going to perform the advanced 24, what the green and blue belts are doing. But to call this the ninja 24, what you guys are doing, instead of just doing a spin sidekick like the green and blue belts in the advanced 24, you're going to be doing jump spin kicks. All right. The jump spin kicks are going to be done in a switchy, switchy fashion. All right. Um, they're going to be done in a 3-2-3 three, three format and also done in a full speed format. All right, the uh, switchy switch jump spin sidekick. If you don't know what that is, my, most of you do. If you come off of your kick, you're gonna come down forward and then your switchy switch is gonna be this, where your front leg takes the place of the back leg as you throw your jump spin sidekick, jump spin hook kick or jump spin heel kick, all right? So again, you'll see where my back foot is and where my kicking foot is where that foot landed, I want to take that foot and put it all the way back to where the other foot is and then throw the jump spin side kick, jump spin hook kick or jump spin heel kick, all right? Uh, it seems fairly easy to do, but what I'm finding a lot of people is they feel like they're putting that leg all the way back there, but they don't. Maybe it just comes back a little bit, all right? So I have my ways. We'll be working on this very hard to make sure that we can get that foot back. And what's happening is, is this hip is going backwards and this hip is going forward and we get this reaction force working for us. Where we, one side pulls back, the other side goes forward and we get a really fast kick. So I think this is really gonna help our, our jump spin techniques go to the next level. And yes, we wanna be able to throw the jump spin where we don't switchy switch, where this leg stays here and we make the jump spin side, jump spin heel and jump spin hook. But in this particular testing cycle, we're really gonna emphasize that, that jump spin technique, all right? The three, two, three is where we hold the basic kicks in the air, where you'll step up, like if you're doing the combination, you'll uh, round kick, round kick, you'll step up and you'll hold your round kick chamber. One, two, three, you'll kick it out. One, two, one, two, three, raise it. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, and that's where the, the uh, other students would step back, they're basically done, or the green belts would step back and make a spin side kick. You're gonna land slightly forward and make the switchy switch, jump spin side, jump spin heel, jump spin hook, all right? So let's get to class. Let's get to working on this stuff, all right? You'll figure out your strengths and your weakness in this 24 and then you take that home with you and you practice, practice, practice these techniques. These are gonna make such a difference. They are so hard to do. But I know the only time I get stronger in my life is when I'm being pushed, when it's not easy. We can come in and go kick, 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 and we go home and everybody's happy, right? Uh, yeah, maybe, but you're not getting any better. All right, so the Ninja 24 for the red and black belts. Adding in the switchy switch, jump, spin, side, jump, spin, hook, jump, spin, heel. I look forward to this 10 weeks with you guys to practice these moves and make them stronger. Make ourselves stronger. See you in class.